Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video that um, was sort of requested by you guys. Um, a lot of you asked for me to do like my, a review on my favorite products. So today I'm going to be reviewing um, some of the different mascaras that I have. Okay, so I grabbed out all of the different um, mascaras that I have. I have one, two, three. I have five different brands of mascaras, and they are all drugstore uh, <clears throat> products that you can get. Um, so I'm just going to start with the first one that's laying here. The first one I have is the Revlon Lash Fantasy. This is the eyeshadow, uh, <laughs> eyeshadow, this is the mascara, and um, there's a lot of different types of this kind of mascara, but it's the one where it has the pr um, primer on one side and then the mascara on the other. There's also the beauty tubes. I haven't tried those. I've heard like mixed reviews on that. Um, I've been wanting to try it, but I haven't yet. So, but this is the one I have for now. And I um, definitely approve of this product. I absolutely love this mascara. I feel like it does a really great job of lengthening my lashes and making them look extra long. And I think that has a lot to do with the primer. So, let me show you it and it numbers it off for you obviously if you couldn't tell the white is primer the black is mascara and it's labeled for you as well so you'll start off first you'll curl your lashes and then you'll go um, to this white side and take your primer now what I really love about this um, particular mascara by Revlon is um, the brushes that it has it has the um, the flexible like rubbery um, applicator and instead of like bristles it has those like rubber um, bristles I guess and I feel like that really grabs my lashes more and it kind of has a slight curve to it as well so you take this and you apply this to your lashes and I like to let it sit for just like a few seconds you don't really have to but um, in my mind, it's like, okay, I have to let it dry, and then I can apply mascara. So, then, after you do that, you go to the mascara part, and it's the same type of applicator, the wand. Um, it's that really nice, rubbery kind. It's not too flexible, and the bristles, like I said, they're really short and small, but they grab each of those lashes that you have, and it really lengthens them, and I feel like with the primer, it just really makes them look a lot more bold, and um, I really love the look that it gives me. So this is a fantastic mascara. I have no problems with this one whatsoever, and again, that was the Revlon Lash Fantasy and Total Definition. Okay, the next mascara I have, I've already done a complete review on it, and that is the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara. Um, it comes in the uh, metallic purple tube like this, and <clears throat> this one, if you haven't seen my review for this already, you can check that out if you're interested in this more. Um, it has the really unique wand um, with the the three, it looks like three balls, but it's like connected, like that new mascara, um, I think, I can't remember the more high-end brand that came out with the original one, where it was just like the one ball, and now L'Oreal came out with it, but it's like three of them, and they're connected together. This one is a decent mascara, like I said in my review, um, I wouldn't like go back to this, as an, I didn't fall in love with it. But there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, there are some really great things about this mascara, though. Um, it really, uh, the way this wand is, it really allows me to get in the inner corners and grab those little tiny um, eyelashes that you have. So I really like it for that reason. Um, but there, I don't have problems with it. I just didn't absolutely fall in love with it, but it is still a really gra great mascara, and it's really affordable as well. So that was the Rimmel Sexy Curves. The other mascara I have, I have it in waterproof as well, is the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. This is like the original mascara ever. <laughs> I mean, this is like also the cheapest, cheapest thing. Um... This is probably the most affordable mascara that you can find. Um, it's really convenient, too. Even if you're not down the makeup aisle, um, I know, like, at Target and all grocery stores, all different places 
has this available at the checkout stand, like with the gum, and then they always have like the weird, the random little knickknacks on the other side. And they always have this, and I actually was just at Target today, um, and I saw this, I believe it was $4.04 for this mascara so <clears throat> but a lot of people I've heard say that they don't like it but I think this is just a classic I mean you just I, I don't feel I think you know it just gets the basic job of putting your mascara on that's what the wand looks like it's pretty short and small but it gets the job done so if I just need a quick um if I'm, you know, like going out and say I did it, my makeup earlier in the morning and I'm going out later again that night, then I will just recoil my lashes and then I'll just go back with this to kind of touch it up. So it's just a really quick, I mean, there's nothing amazing that it's supposed to do. It's just your simple, basic mascara. And like I say, I have it in waterproof, so during the summertime I'll put this on if I'm going to the pool or something like that. But I think it's a decent mascara, and like I said, for the price, you just can't go wrong with that. Okay, for the next mascara I have, I'm actually not a fan of this mascara. Um, well, okay, yeah, actually, I have to be honest, I'm really not. <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying really hard to like it and find things I like about it. There are, but I have to say that what I don't like about this definitely outweighs the likes, so... And that is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I know maybe some of you are like thinking, what the heck are you talking about? This is the best mascara ever. Because I've heard so many good things about this mascara, really. And that's what got me to try this. It's been recommended by so many people. They love it. Um, I know personally a lot of girls that are just like crazy about this. So I first bought it over the summer and I got it in the waterproof. And like I said... I wasn't a huge fan of it. I did not really like it. So then I thought, maybe it's just the waterproof um, that I got. Maybe it was just weird. I don't know. So I got it in the regular as well. So now I have it in waterproof and this, the, the regular formula. So let me show you what I just like about it. First off, I feel like the little stopper that it has needs to be smaller. I don't know, because it's just so messy. Like, you t look at look at perfect example. You take your wand out, and it leaves like the chunky mess. Like I don't know, my camera sucks. I can't see that. It leaves like a big old mess on there. So it's like you have to like clean it up, and it's just like clumpy. Like God, look at this wand. Look at the mascara on that. I mean, it's just like all blobbed on there. And I swear, okay, I, like, I, I will grab this every once in a while, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try it again and see if I like it. And um, with these blobs on there, when I curl my lashes and I get really, like, at the root of my um, eyelashes, it, like, the blob gets in my eye, and oh my god, I'm not kidding, this probably happened, like, like earlier last week. Um, I used this, and like I was saying, I put the mascara on, and the blob, like, got in my eye, okay, and so I'm like, oh my god, ow, my eye was burning like crazy, and I had just finished putting mascara, the mascara on this eye, um, all these lashes, and I looked down, and I'm just like, oh my god, my eye's watering, and then I look in the mirror, okay, my lower lashes were smudged all under my eye, and this eye was, like, all bloodshot and watery and red, um, because the mascara got in my eyes. So I really have not had luck with this mascara. I don't know what it is. It's, I mean, I do kind of, I just, I hate that. They could really do a better job, maybe make that little stopper in there a lot smaller and it could clean it up a little bit more, but it's just so goopy and, I mean, I do kind of see what it does with their lashes a little bit, like, thickens them and makes them longer and stuff, but to me, it's not worth going through all that trouble. I can definitely get that out of something else. So that's why I have to say thumbs down to this mascara. And lastly, my absolute favorite mascara that I absolutely love, and I always go back to buy more of this, is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. And you'll, almost every tutorial, I'm always using this. 
and <clears throat> you've probably all heard of this and seen it. It's in the big orange tube, and it has the big thick wand, and this um, also has those rubbery bristles that I was telling you about with the Revlon one, and I really like that. Like I was saying, it grabs all my lashes, and it really um, lengthens each of my lashes, and I just feel like it gets the job done really quick and easy. I just need a couple of strokes and I got the look that I want. You don't have to work on it. It's just quick and easy and that's what I love. And it does a really great job of lengthening my lashes, making them fuller. And I just really love it. So I haven't tried the Lash Blast Luxe yet. I was really tempted to try it. But to me, I feel like it's such a... I mean, it's like okay, why, how would my mascara have, like, shimmers in it? I don't know. I just don't get that concept. But I also really wanted to try the Lash Blast Length. It comes in the skinnier yellow tube. And the wand is a little bit more like the Revlon um, Lash Fantasy mascara that I showed you in the first one. And um, I kind of want to try it. I don't know. I, if you've used it, let me know what you think about it. Is it as good as this or not? Um, because I'm tempted to try it, but I may just go ahead and stick with what I like. So, those are my mascaras that I have, um, likes and dislikes for now. So, um, I'm sure I'll add some more to the collection and, you know, whatnot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful for you, and I hope you guys are having a great and safe weekend, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.